Hey YouTube, Stormer RT here. Um, continuing on with the modification lift. Uh, this video shouldn't be too long, but I'm gonna start with my air cleaner, my Flowmaster. Forgive the dirtiness of the engine. I haven't been cleaned in well ever, but there it is. Works pretty good. Has a nice growl to it. Uh, it wasn't really too expensive either. Although, I would like to point out that at some point, not really sure when, but that clamp right there somehow came loose and I popped the hood to check my oil. And it was just laying down there. The filter was just laying down to the bottom. But it's still there now, so it does seal up quite nicely up against the hood. So... Yeah, there's that. I didn't notice any real performance gains. Uh, no change in gas mileage. I don't know if it really accomplishes anything on a fully stock vehicle, but, you know, eventually, who knows. Oh, I did, did forget to mention before, the car is a 2014 RT all-wheel drive model. Uh, it's got almost 80,000 miles on it. I'm not sure because the gauge cluster says 75 but it's an upgraded 2015 model gauge cluster and the software currently does not adjust for the mileage but I believe it had about 5,000 miles more on it than the gauge cluster when I got it so I'll just round it up to 80,000 um, here that's about it for the air filter like I said I mean it looks nice it performs decently I do like the design of the tube with the Flowmaster logo in it which is part of the reason why I picked that one it was roughly about the same price as some of the, I'd say, lower end models, where some people buy like the $400 ones. I believe it was only about like $190 when I bought it, but I think they had some sort of a Christmas sale going. So, anyways, I would suggest it. You know, if anyone is looking in the market for one from a fairly big company, it's not a bad way to go. Really easy install. Only took uh, maybe about 20 minutes, if that. Um, the only thing I had trouble with, as I remember, well, I already closed the hood, was the foam trim that seals up with the hood. It comes longer than it's supposed to be, and you have to cut it yourself. And it's, it has like a metal, some sort of metal on the inside, so it's kind of hard to form to the contours of the box. And kind of difficult to cut, but once you get it down, though, it works out pretty good. So, alright, that's it for this video. I'll catch you all next time.